What is happening, dude? Don't backpedal in your cross chain. You did this to me. <laughs> you cross chained it. You're right, I did. You like clunked it out there in the road. What is up, YouTube? We're here with Cervelo S5, Trek Madone Gen 8, and we're gonna test them head to head. Oh, we're doing the intro. Yeah, what'd you think we were doing? The outro. No, intro. <laughs> Which comes first, the intro or the outro? I don't know, we already filmed the whole video. <laughs> yeah, we already filmed the video. We had to like just start riding, but here is the intro. <laughs> we're gonna be riding these two bikes head to head and see which one's gonna win. We're gonna do the climb that we always do. It's like a little switchbacky, what is it, like mile long, 6%, something like that. And then we're gonna do a new flat segment that's like a little under two miles long. Starts off with a gradual downhill, goes flat for like a mile, and then a really gradual uphill. For this test, we use the reserve wheels. We only use the reserve wheels. And the Vittorios. The Vittorinos. These wheels, we just put it back on the bike to not have it be a frame. Yeah. Yeah. so we didn't have to like hold it and have it dangle. But we used, we just did a wheel swap from that bike to this bike. So that way we're using the same wheels, same tires, same air pressure, same everything. So it's just the bikes themselves that we're like testing. Same exact fit, because I wouldn't ride a bike if it didn't fit me. For all the people in the comments that are like, oh, the fit's what matters, not the bike. Well, they're the same. So it's the bike that matters here. On the Aspero video, the Checkmate Aspero video, somebody like wanted all of my heart rate data. Why would that matter? That's a, a uh, watts a watt. I just you know? didn't understand. And so I was if like- If you're doing the same watts, it doesn't, your heart rate doesn't matter. We've been talking about doing this for a little while because we finally hit 10,000 subscribers. We're gonna do a giveaway. And we chose to give away specialized helmet of your choosing, whether you want the Prevail. Wait, is this a Prevail? Yes. Or an Evade. So if you like the, the Evade and you win, you can choose that. Or if you like the Prevail, you can choose that. And you can pick your color and your size and we'll get you whatever you want. All you have to do is watch this video, subscribe to us if you aren't already, and then leave a comment also in this video. And then if you want a second opportunity to win, go to our Instagram and like, Wait, what? Yeah, there's two chances. So we're giving away two helmets. We're giving away two helmets. And leave a comment in the post that we're gonna do about, I think we'll probably just take a picture of the helmet and post it. So you'll see it on there. You have to be following us to win. Yeah, just subscribe and leave a comment. Yeah, if you Easy. enter on Instagram, you have to be following us on Instagram. Yeah. If you enter on whatever this is, YouTube. This is YouTube. This is YouTube. We're you here have on to YouTube. subscribe to the channel. Yeah, so subscribe to us and follow us and we'll hopefully get you a helmet if you're lucky. Jackson's not picking the winner this time. Jackson's so this not, is we're gonna do like legit. a random random generator picker machine. Yeah. Yeah, so do it. One other thing that's interesting about this head to head is if mm. you look over here at my S5, it has water bottles on it and they are round. That is not aero, you know? It's like whew, going through the wind all around like. But then the Trek Madoner comes with these slippery aero bottles. And that's like, this is like a feature of this bike, I would say. It, it is I, the bike. Without that, there's no point. All of their aero data <laughs> and things have to include these bottles. Like I, I'm assuming they're saying it's not an aero bike until you put these bottles on. They had this cool graphic of like the wheels going around this tube around the bottles and connecting here. It's like all one aero foil shape thing. So we're gonna put them on and we're gonna leave the round bottles on that bike because it doesn't come with aero bottles. I think Monday's working. I love being a YouTuber. <laughs> no warm up right into five minutes at 300 watts really hurts. It, does, it doesn't feel good. It's hard. We, it's, we're, it's hard. We're doing like business meetings and then business we're also meetings, doing uh, manual labor. Manu more manual Man, labor. It's rough out here. Does this bike feel good on the climbs? Yeah. You just like sit down and pedal and it does aerodynamic things and just goes. I can't remember what our like previous times were. I feel like they were like 450s. 
Yeah, I think and, so. I mean, depending on where the segment started and stopped, this one was like 10 seconds under that or so. We'll see. I wow. don't know. It fell fast. Maybe I just lost like 20 pounds and I'm flying up the hills now, you know? Do you think those bottles are aero? Yeah, look at them. It's what all the world tour riders <laughs> use. Everybody. Except for one team, maybe. Everybody always comments on these bottles, our bottle cages on our videos, and they're always like, why did you put these garbage bottle cages on these $3 nice bottles? $3 at Walmart, $3 baby. $3 at Walmart cages. Just kidding. These are Silka's titanium bottle cages, and they're sick. We we're love gonna, them. But are, are they aero, though? That's what we're figuring out. You're right. Well, should we do like just a bottle video? Like test these bottles. Aren't we doing that right now? Do these bottles versus like the Aero bottle and Aren't see. Are we doing that right now? Kind of. Kind of. In a way, Aero bike with round bottles versus <laughs> dumb non Aero bike with Aero bottles. Whoa! We'll see what happens. Okay, go back up the hill. I need a drink first. Okay. All right, number two. I just chugged coffee. <laughs> You know how I was standing in the road while you climbed up instead of filming? Yeah. Guess what happened? What happened? I left the mic box on the truck right here. And I was running into the road to pick it up because somehow it stayed on the truck halfway up the hill. And then guess what? What? I found all the pieces. Everything's fine. It didn't break? It, no, it didn't. Could you imagine if you broke our new mics like less than a week after getting them? There's like a scratchy scratch on it, but that's it. Is it works? Yeah. We're still good? We're good. We're still YouTubers, We're baby. still YouTubers. Good thing we have a backup. I saw of. it fly off the truck and I was like, oh, sh**. <laughs> that was something Bubs would do. Yeah. He broke our other one. Two, two hill climbs done. Now we got to do a little wheel swap because you guys hate it when we use different tires and different wheels and yada yada yada. So we're using the same wheels and tires. Are we, should we just run the flat segment first? That's what I was wondering. Isn't it start right here? Or is it, it starts like a half mile down there. So yeah, we could do that. That probably makes the most sense. Okay, let's do that. Because then you can, then we don't have to do it once. That's a great idea. All right. And today is like the best day ever. Dang, Hemi like the best day ever to do this because there is literally zero wind and very no rarely do we get zero wind i was literally standing in the middle of the road trying to pick up a mic and nobody hit me yeah there's no no cars except for that freaking souped up <laughs> impala actually i think it was just falling apart yeah do the flat segment and then that way we only have to switch it out one time okay should i chug more coffee yes okay let's do that and then i'll give it the beans Oh wow, I'm way too zoomed in. Zoom out. I'm trying to. How do I do this? What's wrong? Okay, I, I fixed it. So we just did the flat segment on the S5. Another new flat segment because we haven't liked any of the ones we've done before, but this one's like perfect. I think this is the so best one. We start here at these train tracks and it does like a gradual downhill for a little bit. Like maybe 1% downhill. And then dead flat for like a mile and then like a gradual 1% uphill for the last like quarter mile. So it's like perfect and it's straight and there's no speed bumps and no people. And yeah, I think it's a good test to see if aero bottles are worth it. Are you still filming me? Yeah, stop it. Trey dropped his chain. Don't tell Shimano fans. That was weird. Four fifty six. No one knows what that means, but that was my time. Was it faster than last time? I forgot to look at the exact oh, time last time. Oh, dude. I feel like it was the same. Dude, that's cool. What is? Oh yeah. yeah. I didn't see that. It's the speed boost button for Mario Kart. You're right. So if you're going slow, just take a sharp turn and like swipe it. <laughs> Off you go. All right, let's go climb some more. Oh, on that? Yeah. Let's do it. Isn't that a climber's bike? Yeah. Made for climbing arrow bottles. Upside down, boys. Upside down on the concrete bikes, because we didn't bring bikes there. That's okay. That's what the pros do, right? 
Maybe. Well, we're doing it. Are the reserve wheels good? I think so. Like we said in the S5 build video, they're definitely heavier than other wheels. Whoa, see that? That's the Cervelo washer. You gotta washer. save all the, the Cervelo. Cervelo. Yeah, all the Cervelos have that. Even the um, mountain bike has that. I honestly think they might be the fastest wheels like out there. They're wide, wider than the tire, and they do this weird like, I don't know, in and out thing where it like goes wider and then skinnier. Mm. Wheels are just like whoop. Specialized does that too. Specialized starts off too wide. It's like this wide and it has like a flat wall of carbon that sticks out past the tire. And I just don't see how that would be aero. But maybe it is. Maybe it's like trip strip aero-ness. Wheel test video coming <laughs> we in 2028. We keep talking about this wheel test. <laughs> in, in our minds, we're like, we have eight sets of wheels. We'd have to do at least two runs per wheel. That's 16 runs at five minutes a piece. That's like, it's a lot of biking. It's gonna happen. Even this test, where we just do two hill climbs, two flats on each bike, that's 40 minutes of 300 watts, which like isn't the worst, but it's a lot still. I have, that would be a good race result. 40 minutes at 300 watts? Yeah. Yeah, it's like not bad. I also have to- But that's to, like a legit, that's like a workout. Yeah, I have to leave Trey. I'm gonna film as much as I can, and then I'm gonna go open the store. <laughs> yeah, we had, Lot of stuff to do and we also have to run a store production schedule. so jesse's probably gonna film the probably a little bit of this climb hopefully the climbs and then i'm just gonna stay back here and do the flat segments by myself and then ride the 20 or whatever minutes it is home because that's what it takes this is what i've been running on the madone these 35 mil bondos that measure like 36 or 37 and this is the only other wheels we brought so we're gonna see if they fit on the s5 i almost guarantee you they won't fit but we're gonna try if they do fit this is the best bike ever. this is the best bike dude it might fit i don't know if i can get it in i don't think it's gonna fit no it fits let me put the through axle in I, I think that fits. That I mean, that's in there. Is that more aero? Yeah, closing up the gaps. <laughs> Our like, athletes need to pay attention dude, right Dude, this now. is legit. It actually fits. It fits. <laughs> oh. Dude, it's like the closest that fit I've sick. ever seen. Let's see if the front fits. Would you actually ride that, though? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> if I put them on not 25 mil internal wheels, it then it would better. definitely fit better. Like it would give me another mil or, what's a slightly narrower wheel that's not roval narrow? 454. Those are 25 internal, aren't they? 23, boy. Oh, those would be good then. These wheels are like 23 internal and 24 internal or something weird like that. I thought they were both 25. I don't know, they're both narrower. They're two different dimensions too, which is kind of weird, but they like make one of them wider for some reason internally, and they're both different depths externally. It's like they didn't just make an off the shelf, same as everybody wheel. This fits no problem. Is this a gravel bike now? It is, I just turned the S5 into a freaking gravel bike. World's fastest gravel bike, you heard it here first. There's like Dude. a two mil clearance probably. So yeah, this is now a gravel bike. Gravel bike. Gravel S5. It looks sick. Look at this. I'd say that's like one and a half mil of clearance. I would run that though. Run it. I'm going to. These are my favorite training tires ever. Mondo is the best. 35 mil Mondos. Mondo rock. so sick. Madone time. Got the reserve wheels on. And the bottles, more importantly. The aero bottles are on because it's not an aero bike without them. It's part of the bike. Trek said so themselves. Um, we do have a smaller chain ring on here, a 50 tooth instead of a 54, but everything else is like the same as the other bike. So the Madone's already quite a bit lighter than the S5, actually not quite a bit, like a pound. And then the smaller chain ring is another couple 50, 100, 150 grams lighter. So I will weigh it when we get back, but I would assume this bike's probably sitting at a pound to a pound and a half lighter than the S5. So we'll see if it is faster up the climb. What do you think, Jesse? I don't want to spoil it's it. It's hard to tell, but I think the S5 was like the fastest bike up the climb so far. Which is I don't know. Interesting. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I find it almost hard to believe, but we'll we'll do it and see what happens. The S5 did not have the bottles. No, it was an arrow. It was like round bottled slow boy. Do you think 
Cervello thought about making the bike aero with round bottles, kind of like Trek thought about making this bike only work with aero bottles. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. 20 more minutes of 300 watts. Yes. Off we go. This is the outro. This is the outro. The afternoon of filming the comparison between the Cervelo S5. Whoa, wow! And the Trek Madone Gen 8. Blue, blue. <laughs> they both have like weird holes. Yeah, it's the new trend is to put holes in bikes. Which hole this do you one, think was faster? This one's bigger, so that means something, probably. We've known the results all day. We have. And I've yeah. been thinking about it. Wow, another <laughs> inconclusive video from <laughs> the bicycle station. Let's just this read. This is the weirdest one we'll, we'll yet. Just start, this is the weirdest we'll one We'll just start yet. with the times, yeah. okay? Cervelo going up the climb for 33 and 432. Madone going up the climb, 434, 437. So like average, this bike was like three-ish seconds faster up the climb, somewhere around there. Which doesn't make no sense. That doesn't make any sense because this is a because this one's lighter. That's Let, a, let's just get the scale and weigh it real quick. Okay, so the weight of the S5. 17.2. Okay. Are you going to weigh it with the bottles? No, I'll take them out. It's 16.4. 16.4. I'd probably add a quarter to a half a pound because we use those wheels and they're definitely heavier than these wheels. Yeah. That one's a half a pound heavier for sure. Or more. Half a pound to three quarters of a pound heavier, but it won up the climb. And everyone says our climb isn't steep enough, but it's plenty steep, believe it's, me. It's like a legit climb. <laughs> That's like saying Alpe d'Huez isn't steep enough because Pagacha is going like 20 miles an hour where aerodynamic matters. So, you know, it's just like how hard do you pedal up the steepness of the climb? So, why did this bike climb faster, do you think? I have no idea why this bike climbed faster. It just it just did it climbed faster this bike is so stiff like when you're putting power into it especially in the bars like if you stand up and like sprint or whatever like you can feel how much power is being transferred into this bike but that's not saying this one isn't stiff it's also like pretty stiff but this one's stiffer but in compliance this bike is like one of the least compliant bikes I've ever ridden. You feel all the bumps in the road. It kind of is harsh to ride where this one isn't as bad. The bars are pretty, pretty stiff. You can feel it up front, but in the rear, it's like relatively compliant comparatively. Yeah, I don't know why this one climbed faster because <laughs> on the flat segment we did, this one went 445, 443, this one went 442, 439. So that puts this one beating the S5 by like between one and four seconds. But how is the wattage? The wattage, I, wattage, the lowest. Was like identical. The right? lowest I went was 300 and the highest I went was 302 on all. All segments. All segments. Yeah, every single one. So accurate. like literally the exact same wattage for everything. But I did notice, especially on that last one, on the flat segment, which was 439, which was five seconds faster than this, mm -hmm. this one's slowest one. There was a little bit of a tailwind. I could see the flags moving a little bit. And also there was like six cars that passed me. I don't know why, cause there wasn't any cars any other time. So like when a car goes by you, you kind of get sucked along a little bit, but it's still one. So no, it won. It still won on but the flat. But it also didn't win the climb, so it. That's that's why it's confusing. It, we're we're in opposite land right yeah. now. Yeah. The bike that should have the, won the flat. The lightweight lost. climbing bike beat this one on the flat, and vice versa. Who knows? I don't know. It was a fun test to do. I'm really excited to read the comment section in this I know. video. They're gonna beat us up. And you can't say we're biased. No. 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 Cause because we wanted to be biased, <laughs> just because this aero bike is way cooler. But maybe it's just the bottles. <laughs> I These think are that so it's the aero. bottles, dude. I really think it's the bottles. Yeah, 
It should have went up the hill too. But that doesn't make no sense yeah. to me. There was zero skewing of data with wind or cars up the climb. Yeah. Like it was the, those four climbs were the most consistent climbs we've ever done, and this one straight up one, no car advantages or anything. I almost want to do a retest, but I don't. We're not. We're going, not gonna do. We're it. not gonna do it. We're just gonna leave well, the results as I, they are. The Madone never like we never thought it was slow. No. It's yeah. not, definitely not on flat segments of road. It doesn't feel like it holds its speed quite as well as this, but I rode this right after having the Melee and kind of went back and forth between the two even. This one definitely held its speed better than the Melee, like a little bit more of a race bike. It's still fast. It's a fast bike. Yeah, we raced the Tarmac. And that one had confusing results too. Yeah. The Melee beat the Tarmac on the flat. It's got some schmutz. Well, Dang, dude. Well, so that is... Buy Arrow Water Bottles. Buy Arrow Water Bottles on your S5. .com, <laughs> we do have these on the bicyclestation.com. If they're not sold out. In conclusion, these are both fast bikes. I don't know which one's actually faster. Well, they, they but... tied. One, it's one for one. The S5 won the climb, yep. and the Madone won the, the Arrow segment. Yeah. There you have it, people. Cycling now, marketing. If you want to know more than the speeds of the bike, subscribe so you can watch our next video which will be the review of this and then later on down the road we'll do the review of this bike it's our thoughts on whether it's good or bad its pros its cons all of that stuff more than just how fast it goes remember the helmet thing oh yeah, yeah. enter the enter I, I would assume if they've made it this far they already like went yeah. down into the comments and just said hey my name is bill and i want that helmet if you didn't then don't yeah so just go down in the comments, leave a comment and subscribe and then go to our Instagram and leave a comment on that post too. <laughs> okay, that's all. Bye. Bye.